back on, back on, Gertie Rude, back again, that Wednesday mood. Well, here we are. The tagline today is, I thought we'd have a look at the markets. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have some way to go to increase their popularity in the United Kingdom, the Commonwealth and its overseas dominions, apparently. I mean, don't quote me on it, but that's apparently what's happening. I mean, do you know what I mean? And, I mean, to be fair, I think she's got Bob Hope and probably no hope. But, uh, you know, her steam train keeps on trucking, doesn't it? So let's hear what's going on. Oh, I love Catherine. Oh, look at Catherine. She's beautiful. She's so beautiful. She's always beautiful. Even when she's, I mean, she's still beautiful. Let's go. Compared to 31% having a positive opinion of uh, Prince Harry. Ah! 26%, 50 points less. And Princess Catherine is <laughs> Megan. Yes, still not looking good <laughs> for Harry and Meghan. Prince Andrew is even below, is oh. far below them as oh. well. But when you look at the um, figures yeah. around the young people in particular, right. 25s, yes. Harry and Meghan are polling more favourably with young people among mm -hmm. the British public. But that's not to say they are well well liked by young people. No. Uh, the, uh, the, nets, the, the, the net favourability scores still... I mean, the saying is, if you're not a socialist... Uh, and you're under 30, you haven't got a heart. And if you're not a conservative over 30, then you ain't got a brain. So if they're like literally, do you know what I mean? It's just propaganda, isn't it? It's a proper bleed gander. I think we should all have a proper bleed gander. Anyway, it's a load of nonsense. Nobody likes them. Go away. Stay over there. Amongst young people, so they do have don't come over here. We don't want you. Increase their popularity with the British public. Prince Harry expected to come over to the UK in May. <laughs> oh, yippee. Service at St Paul's Cathedral. We must have put the bunting out now, darlings. So he's having the Invictus Summit or other service at St Paul's Cathedral. It makes you wonder why, doesn't it? So, mm, I think something doesn't pass the sniff test with this slot, to be fair. Voodoo, voodoo, voos. Yes, there's a lot going on in the background. You know, it's a case of smoke and mirrors. It's a bit of razzmatazz, isn't it? I'm not sure what's happening. Because the Invictus could have a service literally anywhere in the world because the Invictus people come from, like, everywhere in the world. Uh, obviously, there's wounded veterans all over the world. So why they have to have a service in St Paul's Cathedral, is it? Is it Cathedral? Church? I don't know. Don't care. Anyway, of course, it's Cathedral, you daft old boot. You clean up the loos all around there. You should know. Anyway, they're going to have... But what I'm thinking is, to be fair, they're coming over in May. Now, didn't the late great queen have her memorial jubilee platinum service at St Paul's? I don't think she turned up because obviously we now know she was... Privately very ill, you know. She's in the last months of her life, literally. And they pulled up and the market got out with her Audrey Hepburn hat on. One of the Queen's 100% Egyptian cotton remodelled into something or other what she was wearing and walked up the steps of the cathedral, which are quite vast. And there was people booing. There was people booing. They weren't booing for the market. I think they were booing because they didn't like the car. Maybe they didn't like the car. Was the car white? Don't know. Can't remember. So anyway, everybody was booing. It weren't me and my mate Manky Bleed Mordy with our heads out the window. It weren't. It wasn't. If people says it was just me, it wasn't. It was like the whole crowd. I don't know what was happening. Obviously, they couldn't possibly have been booing the marklet. But we might have a re a rerun of that voodoo. Who can tell? I mean, I don't think people should boo her because she's rather marvellous, you know. Joel, we still don't know if Meghan is going to accompany him. No one cares, um, to be fair. Doing well on uh, negative views, meaning... Yeah, all right. Eamon's diminished somewhat. Unlike me, he's kept to his New Year's resolution, hasn't he? Because he looks like an entirely different man for two hours. It's him and Christy. I think it's something to do with newsreaders. Have they been put on compulsory diets or something? Oh, I've been on my diet since Christmas. I've kept to it religiously. I have. I'll be honest, I have. Only cakes, chocolates and uh, biscuits, Chris, stuff like that. So, I mean, I did slip up and have a, one of the king-sized kebabies. But, I mean, do you know what I mean? I had some lettuce with it, so, I mean, that cancelled out. And I don't seem to be losing weight, oddly enough. I think, do you know what? I think weight's misogynistic. I think weight just hangs around women to be nasty. Anyway, something or other's going on. They're coming over, they're going to have a religious service... With uh, Baza and oh, it's riveting because apparently the Mark Clear may or may not turn up, and we may or may not give a shit. Anyway, with that, over now, wherever you are in the world, 
Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Don't let the buggers get you down. And keep smiling. And remember, when you smile, the world will smile with you. Well, unless you're me and then they just look at me like I'm mental. Anyway, bye-bye now.